Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey what's up, my name is Casey, also known as Aloha Hanger on Poshmark, Mercari, and then eBay, I am Aloha Hanger 05. Um, I am a reseller if you are new here, um, so I sell a lot of the, on those three platforms. Um, and I usually do like haul videos and uh, thrift with me's, but today is going to be a different video um, because Courtney from Common Tags has created a box swap series for the month of um, December and she has already posted a ton of swap videos. I enjoy watching them like every single day. Um, so yeah, I had the opportunity of being a part of that and I'm very excited. If you guys are coming from her channel, hey, um, maybe think about sticking around. I would love to have you guys. I'm a smaller channel so just having the opportunity to do a video with Courtney, it was really exciting. And if you guys are not new here and you guys notice, I am a little dolled up today. It's because I'm tired of feeling so blah in my videos. So I'm just embracing this pregnancy and trying to make myself feel better about myself. So yeah, I am done up today, but what better day than a box swap day. So anyway, I don't want to make this intro too long. Sorry, I'm just rambling. But here's the box from Courtney. I'm not trying to show her address, um, but long story short, we created a box for each other um, up to five pounds, which is what is allotted on uh, Poshmark, and she sourced um, between six to ten items for each box, and I believe most of her sourcing is either from the bins or from like Goodwill dollar days. My Goodwill doesn't have that. Um, but I do have a lot of honey holes who are, that are reasonably priced. So I did a lot of my shopping there or at Goodwill. Um, and then I do have a bins, but it's about an hour and a half to two hours away. So I didn't have the chance to go because I've just been so busy, low energy from this pregnancy. Um, so yeah, a lot of the things that I got for her is just from Goodwill and some of my honey holes. But yeah, if you guys want to see um, what I got her, then head on over to her channel. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. And then I'll also try to link it up in the cards as well um, so you guys can check out her video. But yeah, I'm super excited. As you can see, I didn't open the box yet. I have my little scissors right here. So let's cut in and see what she sent. I'm so excited for this, you guys. And the thing that I struggled with a little bit um, in her videos, I'm sure you guys watch her channel, but she does um, leave, she usually when she does like a haul video, she'll put like comps, like, um, like sold comps. From eBay or Poshmark she'll show you an item and say I could probably sell this for around 15 to 20 um, I don't usually do that because I look at my stuff last minute or I just sell it for whatever it sells for um, so that was an interesting struggle for me <laughs> but yeah I did it <laughs> because she requested it okay so first thing oh this is nice there's a card in here Casey, thank you for joining this holiday box swap. I hope you have a great holiday season. Courtney, that was nice. That's a nice little card. Thank you, Courtney, um, for letting me do this box swap with you. It was, it was a lot of fun, and it was really exciting for me to be able to try to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, so, yeah, let's see. This box was, this box was created to be a fun way to connect with resellers. Um, some I know and many I don't know. These boxes are supposed to be a fun way to connect during a festive time of the year. In your box you will receive approximately five pounds of clothing for you to keep, give away, or resell. I have a variety of brands, items, sizes, and seasons. And then she did also um, include at the bottom of the note um, approximate comps like I said, she does in her videos. So hopefully mine's, mine's are good. <laughs> okay, so here's the items, and let's just grab straight from the top. This looks like a dress, and ooh, it already looks so cute, you guys. This is Kush, and excuse my nails, Kush. And this is a size medium. 
I already grabbed the wrong thing that was not the first thing on the list <laughs> but this is a Kush Knit Gray Ombre Maxi Dress and this already looks really cute let me just find the front oh, okay there that's some very interesting straps so there's the front and like it says it's a gray ombre maxi dress it does have some slits on the side and then here's the back it's some very fun it's I don't know how do you describe this it like loops through but you can tie it to adjust to your size I guess but yeah I've never heard of this Kush brand uh, but comps she's she said I could get anywhere from 20 to 25 and it is a cute maxi dress so I believe that so there's the first one that's really cute um let me see maybe these aren't in order banana Republic it's a size extra large and it is a black um, would you say this is high low like a high low skirt I don't know it's just a black pretty much a black basic skirt with an elastic waist and then it does have um, this the drawstring tie on the front what size did I say this is extra large modal and viscose so that's nice banana Republic um, she says 10 to 15 which I believe and it's a good size this next thing is J. Jill, and it is a size medium, and it is this, oh, this is cute. It is, it's like a cream yellow and blue um, long sleeve floral top. It feels really nice. It has almost like this extra, um peplum thing going on at the bottom but yeah it's super cute it has like these boho tassel kind of things on the front that you can tie and adjust on the neckline let's just see what it's made out of because it does feel nice okay it's just viscose and rayon but yeah J. Jill it is super cute so there's that um, and for the J. Jill blueprint popover blouse she says 20 to 25 um this is leith i've never found this brand but i have gotten it for free before leith size small made in korea and it is a black top with this is what is this this is really cute it's like a little ruching thing going on here um so what did i say Leith size small, short sleeve black blouse, um, 10 to 15 on this one. So that one's cute. I never, like I said, I never found Leith before, so it's nice to get a different array of things that I wouldn't find in my local area. Um, this is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. Um, this is the RL Boyfriend, and it's a size small. And it is like a light blue, um, like a chambray button down long sleeve. It's very light. It does need a steaming, but it's denim and supply. It's a nice shirt. So, what did I say? Size small, denim and supply, Ralph Lauren chambray top, um, 15 to 20 on that one. And it does have a cute little pocket on the front, so I like that. Boyfriend shirts do fairly well. Okay. Okay, we got Vince. Haven't found that in a while or ever. I don't know. Um, Vince size extra small. It looks like it is a blue uh, v-neck long sleeve top. I don't think it's linen. I don't know. But it's a, it's, it's a nice basic. I actually like it because it's solid. If this was a larger size, I would just honestly keep it for myself because I love how it's long. It's almost like a tunic length for the size of it. Um, it's just 100% cotton. 
but yeah for an extra small it's like a long sleeve tunic really cute I love this okay so that's a Vince and um, Vince blue lightweight sweater 20 to 25 on that and then what is this Ooh, haven't found this in a while Zara I don't find Zara a lot I don't, I don't find a lot of brands in my area um, I really have to like travel out to find anything so uh, Zara Trafalek size large that's a nice size so it's just a white and black striped top with this really cool like ruffled sleeve what do you call these it's like a short sleeve but it's really ruffled out um, it's a large and it's kind of short so I don't know is that a regular length I guess so yeah it could be if I wasn't pregnant so <laughs> there's that Zara Traffa look and um, white and gray okay white and gray striped top uh, 15 to 20 on this one this is actually really cute if I liked shorter tops but for my preference I like very long things and oversized okay this looks very interesting let me just show you guys first <laughs> Wow, I wish I had the body for this. This is kind of cute. Um, and it's free people, <laughs> which I don't find free people like at all here. So I found it maybe one time, but it was an older tag. Um, free people, size medium. This is actually really cute. I wish I could pull this off, but I can't. So it's like an aqua, um, what would you call this? V-neck, spaghetti strap crochet top it's really pretty oh my goodness if this was just like long I would have kept this for myself cuz free people is a little oversized so I have no doubts this would have fit around me but I'm not a fan of the length 100% <laughs> um, cotton this is cute I know free people doesn't do as well as it used to but I think this style is just so adorbs. So, free people teal um, blue boho top, 20 to 25 on that. And then, last thing, oh, this is nice. So, it's Lucky Brand. It is a size extra small, but it is a beautiful um, tweed, what is, like a blazer. What is she laid? black tweed jacket okay so it's like a button front jacket let's just open her up real quick so it kind of wraps okay so there's a button on the inside to keep it closed so it's just a button jacket let's see what it's made out of there's no fabric tag sadly yeah but at least there's the size so let's be thankful for that so I don't know what it's made out of or the style name but if you guys do please comment down below and let me know <laughs> let me just button this up real quick and it's I don't know I think this is so cute it's the perfect time for it it has nice long sleeves it has pockets on the side super super cute so yeah lucky brand black and white tweed jacket 30 to 40 on this one so let's recap I got lucky brands um we got this super cute free people top that I wish was a, a bit longer for myself um, free people we got Zara we got Vince um, let's see. We have Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren, Chambray Top. We got, I'm trying to remember, Leith, Black Short Sleeve Top. We got this super cute J. Jill Floral Top, which I, I honestly think this is really cute. If only that was my size. Um, Banana Republic, 
black skirt. I just need to fix this this um, band in here, but that's like any elastic band, you know. Those things are annoying, but anyway. <laughs> Banana Republic. And then this super cute maxi dress by Kush. I'm going to have to look that up. I've never, I've never found this brand. I want to say I heard of it. Could be wrong, but it's really cute. Gray ombre. Very cute. So, yeah, Kush. Um, and that, that is the end of it, you guys. Thank you so much, Courtney, for letting me be a part of this box swap um, and giving me the opportunity to just step out of my comfort zone because I've never done a video like this before. Um, and it's fun. It's like another mystery box unboxing, um, except you're doing it with somebody that you actually know and watch and follow. Um, I have been watching Courtney for a while on YouTube, and I also follow her on Instagram. I, did, I just love... Um, her channel and I love the way that she has her videos structured it's something that I could probably never get myself to do um, but I admire her for doing it she's very organized and I applaud her for doing this and she also does have another channel city girl unplugged or something like that I'll link that down below as well she does a lot of like um, vlogging and stuff on that channel I enjoy watching that as well when I'm just like sitting around editing or listing um, so yeah I definitely recommend that you guys go and check out Courtney's channel and subscribe to her channel. Check out her video of her unboxing the box that I made her. I really hope that she enjoys all the stuff that I put in there. Um, like I said, I don't have a bins near me. And a lot of the brands that maybe she can find, I can't here in North Carolina. Um, just the city that I live in. It's so small and it's very limited, so I have to drive like far out to find anything really that good but I tried to curate a good box for her like as good as I could so yeah um, I'm gonna stop rambling if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel join my little ohana that I have here and also don't forget to hit the bell so you guys are notified when I do post um, if you guys are heading over from Courtney's channel, I really hope that you guys stick around. I really did enjoy um, doing this video, and I know I'm a smaller channel, but I am working to change that. You know, we all have to start somewhere. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Aloha! Close your eyes, only God.